a 28 year old woman presents to your clinic complaining of amenorrhea and fatigue over the past one year a pregnancy test is negative however she tells you that she has an eight month old child whose birth was complicated mainly by the severe hemorrhage further evaluation reveals loss of pubic hair delayed deep tendon reflexes and a blood pressure of 90 by 50 when blood test revealed decreased levels of follicle stimulating hormone LH, TSH, ACTH, as well as growth hormone. You inform her that she will have to be on hormone replacement therapy for the rest of her life. What do you think the case is? The clue is 28 year old woman, as well as an eight month old child whose birth was complicated by the severe hemorrhage. So it is the case of uh, yeah, Sheehan syndrome, which is mainly, Sheehan syndrome may be one of the cause for this particular case. So it is a pituitary cachexia. So the pituitary cachexia can be caused by the pituitary adenomas or the Sheehan syndrome, both. These two are the causes for the pituitary cachexia. So Sheehan syndrome is mainly caused by the ischemic necrosis of the anterior pituitary following postpartum hemorrhage. So this is the case of Sheehan syndrome. And it develops a pituitary cachexia, but the cause is not only the Sheehan's. Another cause of the pituitary cachexia is uh, pituitary adenomas. And these two are considered to be the most common causes and the other causes would be pituitary surgery, pituitary radiation, or the pituitary injury. So these are the causes. So if we talk about the pathology of this case, if it is because of the pituitary adenoma, then you can find a circumscribed lesion which is mainly composed of the polygonal cells. If it is due to adenoma, which means if the pituitary cachexia is because of adenoma, then you can find a circumscribed lesion composed of a similar polygonal cells. If this cachexia is because of the Sheehan syndrome, there will be an early hemorrhagic lesion in the anterior pituitary that resolves into small fibrous bands later. So these hemorrhagic lesions gets converted to a small fibrous bands. This is what is the pathology for the pituitary cachexia if, the, if there is a cause of adenoma as well as the Sheehan syndrome. Now, what are the clinical manifestations of the pituitary cachexia? In both the phenomena, if you see like if it is because of the adenoma or because of the Sheehan syndrome, there will be a generalized panhypopituitarism. So this generalized panhypopituitarism manifesting as hypothyroidism. That is because of mainly decrease in the thyroid stimulating hormone. Hypogonadism and infertility is mainly because of the decreased luteinizing hormone as well as follicle stimulating hormone and hypocortisolism because there will be decrease in the ACTH and there's a decreased prolactin and decreased growth hormone. So that is the reason we are calling it as a generalized pan hypopituitarism is what you will see in the pituitary cachexia. And because of this, if it is mainly because of adenoma, then the patient exhibit bitemporal hemianopsia. But if it is because of Sheehan syndrome, bitemporal hemianopsia cannot be seen. Which means what is a bitemporal hem hemianopsia is, is a loss of lateral fields of vision, which is mainly because of the compression of the optic chiasm. Now, let us talk about. Uh, the lab findings in this case. 
the lab findings are evident for hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, decreased estrogen, testosterone, progesterones, and decreased cortisol, decreased in the thyroid hormones. It is mainly because of uh, generalized pan hypopituitarism. All the hormones will be decreased. I'll repeat the lab findings once again. Hypoglycemia, hyponatremia, decreased estrogen, testosterone, progesterones, decreased cortisol, as well as decreased thyroid hormones. The only treatment option which is available in this case is the hormone replacement, as well as if it is because of the adenoma, then surgical removal of the adenoma is the treatment of choice. Remember that the pituitary adenomas can also cause hyperpituitarism and may be associated with men one syndromes. But here this adenoma is causing hypopituitarism. But the pituitary adenomas can also cause hyperpituitarism and which may be mainly associated with the men one syndrome. So this is what is the case about uh, pituitary cachexia.